Hey everyone, my name is Zhenyue. For this project, I decided to explore a widely used I.O. technique, zero copy. This technique has been not only applied in operating systems, but is also used by many popular middlewares, such as Kafka, RocketMQ, and Elasticsearch. We know that generally, users cannot directly operate data at a kernel. They must be copied between kernel and user memory. And those copy operations must be done by CPU. So our CPU had no choice but to copy the data between two modes back and forth, even though you don't need CPU to compute anything at all. So there's plenty of performance loss. Now, some may say, hey, we have DMA. How about that? Well, let's take a look at this example. So you want to read data from a disk and write to a network interface. It might be one of the most common operations in client-server mode of applications. A read command is executed and causes a mode switching, and then triggers the DMA copy from the disk to the kernel buffer. Then it must be CPU who copied the data to the user buffer with another mode switching. The write command does the reverse, quite similar, but with network interface and socket buffer. Well, we definitely can't say this process is efficient. Even though the DMA worked really hard, there are still four data copies and more switching. Now, our brilliant computer scientists won't allow that happen. So that's where zero copy come into play. The main principle of zero copy is to eliminate or reduce the CPU copies as much as possible. The corresponding interrupts and the number of mode switching are reduced as well, so as to increase the I.O. performance. Zero copy is a common name of a set of implementations. Throughout years, people have been exploring and improving its implementations. I'll introduce you some of them. One simple way of doing this is by memory mapping. We know multiple virtual memory addresses can be mapped to a single physical memory. The idea of this is mapping the address of user memory to the kernel memory. So behind the scene, those two addresses are pointing at the same physical addresses, or we can say shared memory. As this figure, application calls mmap instead of read. Since user memory and kernel memory are sharing the same physical memory address, the data in kernel buffer will be directly copied to socket buffer by CPU. No data are copied to the user memory in this case. With AMAP, we successfully get rid of one CPU copy. But still, we have three data copies and this expensive mapping operation on virtual memory. More importantly, there are still four times of mode switching. Our brilliant computer scientists won't allow that happen. So Linux kernel 2.1 provides a new system call, send file. This is to replace read and write for some use cases like this. Using send file brings us two times fewer of mode switching. But still, we have three data copies, including the annoying one CPU copy. That's why I like to call it one copy instead of zero copy. But our brilliant computer scientists won't allow that happen. With Linux 2.4, we have another update called DMA scatter and gather. As application call send file, DMA controller copies the data from disk to kernel buffer by DMA scatter, meaning you don't need a continuous memory space for data storage. Then, CPU will append the file descriptor to the socket buffer. And DMA controller copies the data according to that file descriptor by DMA gather. With this improvement, we finally eliminate all of the CPU copy and achieve the real zero copy. Here, I want to show you a quick demo to evaluate the performance improvement. In Java, there are APIs in the class file channel that are using the MMAP and the send file respectively under the hood. For this experiment, I used three methods to copy an 880 megabytes file on Ubuntu 22. So first, I'll drop everything in cache. 
then use the traditional buffered streams in Java. We got six seconds. Uh, that's not bad. Then I'm going to drop caches again and use mmap method. This is better. Lastly, the send file. Which is even faster. As you can see, there are significant improvements with both zero copy implementations. There is 81% speed improvement with MAP and 91% with send file. I think this result kind of answered the question, why do people love this technique so much? That's everything. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.